Mr. Speaker, of course we all congratulate all of those who presented the, their names for by-elections, but it's interesting that the Prime Minister doesn't want to answer this question because it was so embarrassing for him to have to come home empty-handed. He insulted Japan. Australia and other trusted Asia-Pacific partners when he didn't even bother to show up to meetings during the Trans-Pacific Partnership talks. Now, the message from our closest Asia-Pacific partners was clear. Canada has betrayed us. Yeah. The Prime Minister's erratic behaviour has threatened Canadian jobs, hurt our credibility, and again showed his incompetency on the file. So why doesn't the Prime Minister just come clean and admit that he just doesn't believe in free trade? Yeah. Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, this government has worked very hard to get trade deals that work good for Canadians. That's exactly what we focused on in repairing uh, the neglect they had left uh, the CETA deal in and managed to close the deal by putting forward progressive elements uh, that ensured that environmental rights, labour rights, health standards uh, be respected. That's exactly what we're moving forward with NAFTA in ensuring uh, that this be good for Canadian workers and uh, small businesses. This is why we're engaged in trade negotiations uh, towards Asia, whether it's the CPTPP, uh, whether it's China, whether... L'honorable chef de l'opposition. Mr. Speaker, it doesn't serve Canadian workers' interests when the Prime Minister keeps coming home empty-handed. Yeah. 